first of all, I, I would like to know how you, you know, collaborated or how you, you know, how you we're, started your we're collaboration. Friends. Anyway. We were friends before. You were friends. You were friends, and what what made you choose to work together or to to realize projects? I mean, oftentimes as friends, it's kind of you know. Can be a little bit challenging too. Uh, I was uh, the producer at her first film, mm -hmm. or My actually second film. at her second film. Okay. And so this is how we met actually, and uh, connected and uh, decided to to collaborate. To collaborate, yeah. The same time. And we understood we have the same kind of vision about about uh, about films, about the way they should look. It's very important for both of us, I think. Yeah. And. Uh, and we really wanted to, to make something beautiful and uh, and I think also in, in this kind of time like people usually wear a lot of masks I don't know like people are more cynic cynical and uh, I think we decided to do a film about that about removing those masks and to be more uh, more here more alive mm -hmm. and to show what, it in what, a pure what way what do you think about the, those masks like what? What kind of behavior do they? Does that mean? Or like what? You know, what do they represent for you? Noel and the character of Noel in the movie dresses like the grandfather, mm -hmm. actually, like with pieces of from his life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he symbolizes uh, more of the past, maybe. Mm -hmm. And the character of Dina in the movie uh, is a wolf, actually, uh, because she is. Uh, wild and uh, represent more of the future and uh, like a lonely wolf actually. Uh, yeah, but of, of this lonely comparing generation. to Noel, she represents the future or uh, could say. And it's also Purim. Uh, Purim is the, like Purim the Halloween, like, but for yeah. the Jews. So we use it as a metaphor to use those masks that we wear every day. Just in this day and how how we can remove them and everything could be so much more beautiful actually so why why do why should we remove them if we have them anyway so we could keep them and just let mm. it be like this what why why do you think it's so important to take mm. that masquerade away and show this what's so beautiful the stories about reveal ourselves and um, maybe our true feelings about things Maybe some, sometimes it looks like it's more easy to deal with problems when we are covered, but then you can find out that actually when you take it off, uh, it's sometimes more clean and more pure. Um, and th this is what they actually like uh, going through in the, in the film. Yeah. Like uh, they understand of uh, that when you uh, actually get rid of all the costumes. Suddenly, you have such, some relief inside of you. And I think Dina has. We have a scene about this in the film. That Dina is going back home, and she realizes her grandfather is dead. And then she understands she cannot talk with anyone because no one really listens, no one really talks, no one really exists for her. Everybody mess is, is messing with his own costume, and she cannot speak with her friends. So, in that point, she realizes that Noel. Is sitting in the kitchen and he's the only one in the film that is not is not with a costume in that part. And then this is where she can actually talk with someone and actually experience this really bad experience. Like in the beginning, Dina is trying to make Noah like her, trying to put cover on him uh, and uh, try to put on him a costume, mm -hmm. but. Uh, like after that they they get the understanding that without this it's more close they can actually communicate if they don't have the the covers on them they can actually see each other they can actually exist and is it in a way also um, criticizing youth or is it more about educating or encouraging i don't think it's about youth only i think it's about the society and i think Today, I don't know why, but people are more scenic and more and wear more costumes and, than before. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's, it's criticizing about mm -hmm. anyone. We just wish people would be more free with themselves and 
more pure and say what they think and uh, and fear. Like no one really wants to feel today. Everybody wants to be like mm -hmm. I'm cool and I'm far and mm -hmm. like I don't, I don't like. That. But don't you think that youth plays an important role in this question? Because because uh, they or we are in a way the ones who will you know be in charge of a lot of positions and decisions in 10, 20 years. Yeah. And so it's always a delicate thing, you know, like being yeah. young and the way you were raised and the way you see the world and you want to, you envision it. So I'm wondering if what special role maybe youth or young people play in this entire problem of masquerade it's and the real self and the, because it's a, it's a struggle, you know, from puberty on until even in your 20s it goes, I mean, it never ends in a way, yeah. but it's, it's a very crucial time, I think, between yeah, puberty and, I don't know, mid and 20s, but, you know, this building up of a personality and the connection to yourself and something. And, I mean, in your film you cover sort of all the, like this generational thing, yeah. I guess. It, it covers, goes from the young to the old and death and, you know, it, it's all involved, but I was just wondering if, if there's like a certain perspective on youth or young people you want to talk about or also in relation that your film is being played in the generation yeah. section yeah. and it has a younger uh, audience. Actually, we are youth, so... Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite, but uh, I'm yeah. calling myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel young. Yeah, uh, yeah it's... Uh, I think that uh, the connection to, to, to the youth, if you want to call it like that, uh, we live in Tel Aviv. Uh, it's a big city and um, it's also uh, about us. The, the, the generation uh, that lives uh, in these days in Tel Aviv that uh, likes to wear a lot of masks and likes to wear a lot of costumes. I think that every everyone basically have like um, ten different uh, kind of uh, of personalities, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and uh, we use uh, we choose when to use what. Uh, but yeah, I can say that it's also criticize. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we all maybe criticize is a strong not, word. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe but just like it's encouraging or maybe raising awareness or something for. But also, I was wondering because I I didn't grow up. You know, I never grew up in a in an area or a place in the world where where, where there was a constant threat of violence or war or something. So, I have a very maybe different. I was just wondering how it is for Israeli youth. I mean, it's very normal, right? But it, there is always this. I feel like constant threats of yeah. you know violence and i heard from many talks i had with people that maybe because of that there is a deeper like um, desire for life and just living I and experiencing because there you know that you live in a zone of this planet which is very you know it's heated up you know there's it's it's, it's something is going on it might explode every other minute i think it works for both sides i mm -hmm. think there are people you also want to live more because you know it will finish more, but also you lose a lot of your friends and, a lot of, and your family, and, and you know you can lose someone. So we need to put this, just fix something, like a wall, a like wall like so you, you will not be hurt. Yeah. So I think yeah. it works for, for both sides. In, yeah, I agree. But because I'm an Israeli and live in this reality, so probably I cannot see this like Maybe. the way you do. Um, yeah, also, I've never been there, so I can't really. Yeah. And I also in, I always it, feel very difficult for me to judge it because I've never been there, I've never lived there. Yeah. The media is always creating very, it's very polarized, you know? The yeah. Image, so I don't know what to say. But Actually, when, you, when you come as a tourist, you don't feel anything. I mean, Tel Aviv is a, it's a heard, party yeah. and nightlife and uh, very full of life. and. Uh, I think the difference between the youth in Israel and the youth uh, like in other places yeah. is maybe uh, the idea that we know is what to lose, I mean what losing a person is mm. in a very young age. Uh, this is the reason why Dina in the movie, uh, in the film, mm. she's very young but you can see that she reacts to death, uh, like maybe I can say that it's unusual a bit, like yeah. to go to a party. She just and trying to right away to find a solution. Exactly. Because she knows and she needs to continue. She immediately knows what to do with Noel, like take him to a party, go outside, uh, see the world again, yeah. uh, take back the life that, uh, that she just saw that ended. Um, and I think that this is 
maybe it's sad that we know to do uh, to do the best. Uh, maybe uh, we know how to do it. Like, do you think to, this to is survive and to continue? I, I had just a very interesting interview today too with a, he's a Greek filmmaker, but he lives in Germany and he made a fiction film. It's a fiction documentary. It's called Esho Lot, and it's about a friend that commits suicide, and then all his friends gather in a country house somewhere outside. And all they do is having sex and party just to forget, you know, the death, the fact of death. Okay. So, like, this escape into party life and something, do you think it has something to do with it, that, that you don't want to deal with death, maybe, and just, uh, it's you know, drugs and It's maybe that we are tired parties. from it. Not like tired, we yeah. don't want to deal. I mean, like, Dina, in the, fi in the film, she symbolizes, I think, that the idea of, uh, with life, we can... Uh, take over the death yeah. uh, thing, yeah. but only with life. But it's not. Uh, I mean, it's not sex and uh, violence and uh, I don't know. Like not it's very good. pure uh, what they're going through together. Yes, yeah, the journey. The, 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 the journey is is pretty pure. I mean, they look inside of the eyes of each other. They discover each other. I think in the other uh, reality, Dina and the Filipino guy would never find a way to connect uh, unless uh, the grandfather uh so how is what is the position of the filipino community okay and this I is know, a actually I mean, I interesting this, you know question. i know this you know tomer hyman i guess right so it's tomer to, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah he made this Roger. documentary on yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, i shot no what's it called again yeah. it's called uh, yeah. about the the grandmother about not the mo the mother also, but it's, it's basically about the, the, the transvestite community, the yeah. Filipino gay community. And in this documentary, you see very much the uh, very okay. ostracized okay. part they play in the society, the caretaker, yeah. you know, they, they only, yeah. you know, make a work in a certain sector of the working world in Israel. Yeah, the this caretaking thing, right? If Filipinos coming to Israel uh, mostly these days with visa uh, to stay mm -hmm. through companies um, and uh, in order to take care of uh, old people, yes. people with disabilities, uh, just because I think that there's something special. <laughs> I mean, they have it. Uh, they have. They have this pureness. That's why we chose uh, this character because, and they know how to deal with. Uh, they have so a lot of compassion, yeah. uh, which you, it's dif more difficult to find that Israeli uh, Israeli people. To, you can, I don't know if to say that they don't like to. Um, I don't know. It's a difficult question. It's difficult. I don't yeah, know. Filipino guy, uh, guys and uh, Filipinos, uh, they have some compassion that you cannot find. Uh, I, I didn't tell anyone else that does the hard work of taking care of old people yeah. like them. Why? And I think I we, don't all, know. <laughs> we also chose the Filipino because it's an outsider, because everybody is, is costume and everybody has this kind of world that we, we want to, to take some, something pure from outside to, to take Dina away from them. From, from this world. And before we have a scene with Diana with their friends and their old costume and nobody really listens one to each other. Mm. And then she go home and, and in the apartment Dina never eye contact now. And he always just looking for her and he sees her but for her he's transparent. Like she cannot see Invisible. her. Yeah. Yeah. And then we, we wanted to take this, this character from outside to, to pull her out of her situation. To his word, maybe do not take them as for granted. Like uh, they are necessary, uh, and uh, they have a lot of problem of staying in Israel, visas, uh, stuff like that, uh, with immigration. Uh, so, so we try to show a different side, maybe, of the Filipino guy. That, uh, but maybe I think it's still interesting to think about what the Filipino community are these caretakers have that like mainstream Israeli society doesn't have. Like what could that be? Why um, why do they have that? That the mainstream Israeli, because you just mentioned that they have this you know, sort of compassion and they have a certain 
you know, skills or tr character traits that could not be expressed, or not so easily expressed by mainstream Israeli society. Yes, but I think mm -hmm. it's also a very hard work. It's very hard work. They are delicate people and they are very polite uh, and uh, they need the money. So I guess that it's a combination of a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They are coming from very poor areas, uh, needing the money, Needed. willing to do for the money, uh, a lot of hard work, um, and just doing it better. I mean, mm -hmm. with their own like uh, compassion to the oldest uh, people, and uh, they are very polite and uh, nice people, actually close community but uh, they don't have like Israeli have a lot of fruit sometimes uh, they know what they want they want it right now uh, I don't think that uh, it's a work for them maybe I'm trying to think how to like say it um, what do you think I think it's a hard work and people from outside come that need money come and do it and yeah, it's a work that no one wants to do, actually, like to clean after old people and... Um, and these people, no one really sees them. And, it's, and I think in, in the military, they are our, our ages and they can be so beautiful and we can meet together. I think it's, it's very... A lot of communities in Israel that are unseen. And I think when, when we can open... <laughs> When we can open our eyes to them, everything can be much more beautiful. And I don't speak only about the Philippine, but... But do you think it's a very particular Israeli film? It's an Israeli what? Is, there, isn't it, is it like a very particularly Israeli film? Or does it speak to a wide audience too? I think it speaks to a to wide audience. I don't think it's... We, this film has no language. In, in every culture you have uh, closer communities and you have smaller communities and you have uh, like different religion religious or whatever like yeah you can find it uh, you can find worldwide it yeah. and we decided to make it without words so n no one will, will actually think it's it's just there because I think in every place th there are those transparent people that in in the second that will open our eyes will earn so much so how was the reaction of the audience did you talk to the I guess it's mostly young people who watch it, or younger, younger audience. Did they ask questions, or did they... Uh, yeah, I mean, it was only the first time, so... Well, first uh, it time. was just yeah. the first time. They did ask us about the costume, and uh, like the design, and uh, <laughs> give us compliments on our, uh, <laughs> our clothes and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know, I think that... Uh, Maybe today there will be more questions. Waiting for questions. It was just in the meantime, it was just you dressed very nicely, uh, good design, so and, uh, <laughs> and did you? It has probably been screened in Israel too, or is this the very first time? It this was is the, the first, time. first time. Yeah. How is it going to be seen in Israel? Do you are you going to show it in? I don't cinema? know because actually in Israel there's not much of place for short films, unfortunately. unfortunately. On television, not too. On, te on television, you cannot. No. No, oh, it's, it's more difficult. We would really want to sell it abroad because we know the, the TV it has more room in room actually Europe. in the world. In, in Israel, it's <laughs> in Israel, you don't have a lot of uh, opportunities for short films. It's like yes, and actually, that, this is why we made this film completely indie, independent, and everybody were volunteering for this film. And it was such an amazing experience. Yeah, I think that this is uh, the amazing. Thing yes. about this film, like, everybody were volunteering, and I work as a waiter for a few months, like to, 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 to pay, <laughs> to the to pay the bills. It was a, we did it from our pocket money and uh, savings, and um, parents help us, and uh, you know my mom was the one that cooked for the set, and the, her mom uh, did, did the, the makeup. makeup. <laughs> Uh, we painted yeah. the house of uh, the grandfather alone and uh, sat there like uh, three days and nights painting uh, all the the art and uh, yeah it was uh, it was a hard work <laughs> but I think in general making films it's such a beautiful thing because everybody wants the same goal and here with all this volunteering 
it was ama- it was just an amazing experience to see everybody coming and everybody yeah. wanting and everybody wanting to succeed like it's their own all the people that you see in the film did not get money for that uh, all of them volunteered the Filipino guys all the, crew, uh, the cinematographer which is amazing all the crew yeah And how, how did this maybe this experience influence your future ideas or projects? Never make in the, <laughs> not <laughs> no, I think no, I mean, a, I mean it's, but it's, it's so important to also have access to money. It's beautiful if you can do it by yourself, but you know uh, we should really work on you know there needs to be more money for available, especially yeah. for young yeah, emerging uh, filmmakers because we wish. But in Israel, it's not happening it's yet, not happening. just for us to, because it's completely it's independent. Still, yeah, we, know, we never studied. Cinema? Ah, uh, yeah, we never studied. And so then, but maybe that's easier to get access than uh, yes. through the contacts or something. Like. And but actually, it's my, fir- it's my third film that I'm doing that way. Wow. And it's, such, it's opening the heart to see all the people just wanting to come, wanting to, to work for the art. It's amazing. Mm. And do you plan on making something else now? Or maybe you have the chance to meet people here that might give you some money? Or? We hope so. Uh, we need to be very rich. Uh, no, we hope so. Yeah, we, we, we do. Yes. We, want, we want to do, of course. Uh, we want to do. And not work as a waiter, so just do it. So, <laughs> but is your, is your plan to make films in the future? More films? Or yeah, of how do you want to earn your money? <laughs> Um, no, how do we want to earn our money? Yeah, like what's the dream? <laughs> I don't think I don't think we live according to to making money because we want to make art. And I, I, fortunately, it's hard to. It's very hard. I mean, I'm kind of ways. yeah. It's kind of you know you have to you have to earn money in your life to make it. So it's, you can't if you want to continue making films. I think at some point you have to get the money you know, because otherwise it's. I think we hope to you continue making... You just find making... someone very rich and get yes. married and uh, he pays you to do your heart and... Uh, no, I think, <laughs> no, just kidding. I think it's yeah. very important to go through your art and, and it's much more important to do that than to live richly or because... To live... Ri- to, to live a rich life. Oh, no, not rich. No, no, not rich life. But I think it's... I think at some point it's a, out of respect, you know, that you really... that you... that it's being validated. You know, because it's a lot of work and, and film is such a collaborative work you know where you have to have involved so many people I think that the, the, the main thing that we discovered is uh, that you actually don't need money to, to make your art That's I mean thing, yeah. this is uh, this is important to say that all of the people like wanted to help us so much and did everything for us but we do wish um, we could pay them of course but of yeah. course uh, we think of the future and I'm studying I'm a student and uh, we continue to do our art and I think that um, I think that it's a matter of I mean things in Israel are 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 getting developed I mean it's it's starting it's like it's it's happening um, yeah. I'm hoping that uh, Someday, I mean, in the close future, I will have a place and a room for short films and not just uh, for feature films mm-hmm. and uh, and also budget and things like that for short films and people that are coming in an indie uh, zone, didn't study the course, stuff like that. So, um, so we're wishing for that. But I think even if we want to, of course we wish for, for a budget for Funding. our films. And yeah. But, But it's so important it. to continue to make art. Like for me, I'm also a musician. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I'm an actress. And, uh, I think when I don't, when I'm not working on anything, I feel empty. Yes. I have to work on something. I have to have my art in me. Right, yeah. So. But do you have any future films in mind? Like any concrete content uh, or ideas or I'm working on a, on a new short and. <laughs> I'm writing Sorry. my first feature and I'm working on my first album as well. And I have yeah. here in the festival two films I was acting at, Inshallah and Six Act, yeah. the Panorama and the Market, and yeah. I hope they will succeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what, what, are, what are the plan, the future films, what are they going to be about? Is it again about like uh, death and generations and ostracized communities or like what is the... Actually my next fun? short is about the uh, transvestite. Mm-hmm. Who is lonely and she's she's looking for a place in the world. Great. <laughs> It sounds seducing. Okay. Thank you very much for the interview. What's on you? I'm writing a feature, like um, so. 
still in progress. It's about a um, psycho lady. Psycho lady? Uh, <laughs> in Israel? Uh, yeah. Okay. It'll be in Tel Aviv. Okay. I'm hoping for co-production or something that some, I mean, to, to uh, but start in Tel Aviv, uh, for sure, yeah. I'm, I'm writing my feature about my grandma. She was a partisan in the, yes, she was a fighter. And it's going to be evolving around her as a protagonist, or? Yes, it will be her, sto her story, exactly the way it was, I hope. To be continued, you know. Yes, we have plans. Yeah. Good, good. good luck with that. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Like, what what kind of behavior do they? Does that mean? Like, what you know? What do they represent for you? Noel and the character of Noel in the movie dresses like the grandfather, mm -hmm. actually, like with pieces of from his life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he symbolizes uh, more of the past, maybe. Mm -hmm. And the character of Dina in the movie uh, is a wolf, actually, uh, because she is uh, wild and uh, represents more of the future and uh, like a lonely wolf, actually. Uh, yeah. But of this rolling comparing to Noel, she represents the future or uh... first of all, I, I would like to know how you you know collaborated or how you you know how you we're, started your we're collaboration. Friends. We were friends before. You were friends. You were friends, and what, what made you choose to work together or to, to realize projects? I mean, oftentimes as friends, it's kind of, you know, can be a little bit challenging to. Uh, I was uh, the producer at her first film. Mm -hmm. or, My actually, second film. Uh, at her second film. Okay. And so this is how we met, actually, and uh, connected and uh, decided to, to collaborate. To collaborate. Maybe it sounds, sometimes it looks like it's more easy to deal with problems when we are covered, but then you can find out that actually when you take it off, uh, it's sometimes more clean and more pure. Um, and th this is what they actually like uh, going through in th in the film. Yeah. Like uh, they understand of uh, that when you uh, actually get rid of all the costumes. Suddenly, you have such, some relief inside of you. And Dina has. We have a scene about this in the film. That Dina is going back home, and she realizes her grandfather is dead. Yeah. The same time. And we understood we have the same kind of vision about about uh, both films, about the way they should look. It's very important for both of us, I think. Yeah. And uh, and we really wanted to to make something beautiful and. Uh, and I think also in, in this kind of time, like people usually wear a lot of masks. I don't know. Like people are more cynic, cynical. And uh, I think we decided to do a film about that, about removing those masks and to be more, uh, more here, more alive. Mm -hmm. And to show what, it in what, a pure what way. What do you think about the, those masks? Could say. And it's also Purim. Uh, Purim is the, like Purim the Halloween, like, but for yeah. the Jews. Mm -hmm. So we use it as a metaphor to use those masks that we wear every day, just in this day, and how how we can remove them, and everything could be so much more beautiful, actually. So why why do why should we remove them if we have them anyway? So we could keep them and just let mm -hmm. it be like this. Why 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 do you think it's so important to? Take that masquerade away and show us what's so beautiful the about it. The story is ourselves and um, maybe our true feelings about things. 